I wonder if you fast travel through the area, it automatically does it too. What's going on, my fellow gamers? Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Last time, we got siege completed, and we're getting ready to go to war. So let's do it. If the game ever loads, this game's one of the biggest parts of this game's problems is the quests don't make sense and loading times take forever. Just a little longer. Oh, oh. Easy, easy. Holy cow, that's a lot. Easy, man. Not yet. Cracker. I'd love to see another uh tracker here. Ah. Oh, you actually hit me. Ow. Ah. Is my shield not equipped again? God bless it. That was easy. Just the one hit I took. It really sucked. Dang, we gotta go help them. Do anything. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, 
only lost one person so far? I just hit my own teammate. That sucks. Hope I'll get punished for that. Anytime now, game. Is there Eric! Huh. What? This one? Boy. You should show a little more respect, Divish. There's no need it when you kneel before Istvan. Oh, <laughs> now the pup shows his teeth. Hmm. Istvan, you say? Not Sir Istvan? Or Lord Toth? Just how intimate are the two of you? Oh! I know him. He's Eric, Toth's captain and right-hand man. Finally, some good news. Shackle him and guard him closely. Those bastards want to destroy our trebuchet. Back to war! I mean, I would too, it's a smart thing. But I gain a level. And a new perk. That's important. Uh, let's go ahead and do that, because why not? Family values, okay. Come on, Pebbles, we're going to war. I lied, we are not going to war because Pebbles does not want to fight. Screw you, Pebbles. I trusted you. We've been together for so long. The first thing I stopped recording, but that didn't take long at all. Seven minutes? That's not people there. We hit it stamina. Bingo. I'm the fastest. Yay! Why well, can't I just use my horse to get here faster? That would make a lot more sense, wouldn't it? Hey, blacksmith. What the freak? I'm thinking about it. Oh, I have an alchemy point too. Sure. Oh yeah, and I have a uh, new maintenance point. Let's see how good this is going to be. I don't know what else I need to do because I feel like we're getting really close and we're doing the longest run ever. Keep moving. He did the job for us. We can just keep moving until I get to the trebuchet as fast as possible.
We we'll probably get ambushed here. Since there's only four guys versus like the twenty of them, that was not even a fair fight. He's dead. Dang, Hans armor's amazing. All right, let's go help them out. You leave Cape on alone. Oh my god, even more strength. Oh, reinforcements are here. This is an easy fight. $25 for doing nothing. What the? And 775? Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talks. Money, 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 money. You know, kind of where you get by like a mercenary to help you out. You know, kind of like. God, they got decimated. The damage isn't too serious. So we can shoot? Not just yet. Sir, what are we waiting for? You've heard his threats, Robard. Do you want him to kill Radzik and my wife? We have to consider all our options. And it would be a shame to destroy the castle, too. But how do we get that rat out of there? Sir, I might have a solution. What about exchanging hostages? He was the captain at Vranjik. And he brought Istvan's reinforcements here. Seems to be on very um, intimate terms with Toth. He might be able to tell us something. And he might even be as valuable to his lord as Lady Stephanie and my father are to us. <laughs> You're your father's son, by God. You're a godsend, lad. You're right. We'll interrogate this whore, son, and then decide what to do next. Come to my tent when you've rested. Okay, that's not too bad. That was a very short quest. You know what I mean? Like, that didn't take long at all. Start talking, or make your peace with God. Do your worst. I won't betray my lord. Ah, Henry! Just the man I want. This fool would rather hang than sing. You know more about him than we do, so maybe you can get something out of him. Okay. Makes sense to me. Well now, Eric. It is Eric, isn't it? Looks like the boot's on the other foot this time, doesn't it? Fuck you.
Sorry about that. Let's restart this whole part right here. I won't betray my lord. Ah, Henry. Just the man I want. Actually, because I have a tradition of repairing all my stuff. Let's continue with that tradition, shall we? And then I need my small tailor kit. Oh, I think it's too gone. That's unfortunate. All right. Oh, Eric. It is Eric, isn't it? Looks like the boot's on the other foot this time, doesn't it? Fuck you. You need to change your tone. If you start being nice, you might just come out of this alive. So now I'll ask you a few questions, and you better think carefully about how you answer them. Ooh, I, can, I should win a majority of sections. So let's see if I win this. Who is this top? He's an orphan, same as me. The Turks killed his parents, so he started killing Turks. Sigismund needed men like that, so Istvan ended up in his service. Who does he take his orders from? Are you stupid? He works for Sigismund. Well. How did you meet him? What's that got to do with anything? What is he after? Are you really that clueless? To destroy Wenceslas's allies. You. How many men does he have in the castle? How should I know? There were nearly 70 of us at the beginning, but there's probably not even half left. But that's still more than there ever were in that castle. More than enough to defend it. Listen to me. Toth has hostages in the castle, and we have you. So, how about an exchange? Do you take him for a fool? Do you really think he'd give up the only thing he has that stops you from attacking? He'll never accept an exchange. You'd better pray he will for your own sake, because once we attack, you'll be worthless to us. And what do you suppose will happen to a worthless bandit? I won't waste any more time on you. You could have saved yourself, but apparently you value your master's skin more than your own. I don't need to save myself. Ishtavan will save me. And he'll kill every last one of you! Doubt. Why should he save you? He'll sacrifice you, just like everyone in Branik and Pribislavitz. You're nothing but a common bandit. You don't know anything. He'll come to me, and anyone who lays a finger on me will pay dearly! Now I'm curious. Why would he care that much about you? Could it be your lovers? You never understand! I think there's a yes. For a while there, I thought we'd get nothing out of him, but in the end, he spilled his guts. I thought you were much too easy on him, but it seems your approach was the right one. Well done, lad. Anyway, it's clear that young fellow is no ordinary brigand, and he believes Toth cares about him. We'll just have to see if the bastard cares as much about him as Divish does about his wife and you about your father. Dang, okay. Free money. Well, Divish, I think the time has come to find out just how much Toth values our hostage. Do you want to parley with him yourself? I think I'll leave that to you, Harris. So be it. I'll do my utmost. Bring the hostage below the battlements. I don't like this idea. Parlay sounds like a horrible idea of people who don't want to parlay. You know what I mean? But, I'm not the lord here. I'm the airing to a lord. Airing? Red airing? Air? Sir Istvan! What is it? Did our neighborly visit catch you unprepared? A little, but we've settled in nicely. 
And this fellow is enjoying our company so much, we simply can't get rid of him. Ooh. It seems we are in similar situations. Perhaps it's time to send our respective guests home. Not a chance. Do you take me for a fucking fool? Be warned. If anything happens to Eric, I'll let every man jack here have his way with this bitch, and I'll dice Kobila into goulash meat. Nobly spoken, your grace. For all I know, you may have done that already. Divish, I'm sorry. Greetings, friends. Fear not, Lord Toth is treating us like royalty. Hmm. They're unharmed, as you can see. But don't try any tricks, or they won't be for long, Hanush. It seems your lord doesn't place any great value in you, boy. Go to hell. Oh. <coughs> I'm sorry. It looks like it's not going to be that easy. Well, at least we know they're alive. I didn't expect much of it in you. He won't harm them as long as we have this fellow. It's a good point. I mean, his right hand man. Is uh, we don't talk about anything else about that. Well, friends, what do you suggest? I'd say we have no choice but to attack. Hmm. It's a great risk, Robard, with Stephanie and Radzig inside. I know how you feel, sir, but Toth is no fool. They are his last safeguard. He will do nothing to harm them until he is sure of victory. Would you be saying that if it were your wife inside? Or your father? Well, let me point out that we have no choice anyway. We don't have enough supplies to keep men here for weeks, while gangs of brigands and Sigismund's army roam the countryside. Hmm. Toth won't agree to an exchange, and even if he did, we'd have to let him go. With all his men, he'd be a thorn in our sides till Judgment Day. Sir, a message has arrived. Oh, oh what, what is it? now? Margrave Yobst is approaching with his retinue and wants to speak with you. What? Yobst, you say? All right. Um, okay. What's he doing here? Who's Jobst? Jobst of Luxembourg is cousin to King Wenceslaus and Sigismund. He's the Margrave of Moravia. Only a year ago, he was collaborating with Sigismund and the League of Lords. He betrayed King Wenceslaus and his ally Prokop. Now, he's changed sides, appointed himself the leader of the rebellion against Sigismund, and wants to liberate Wenceslaus. Whichever way the wind blows. Nevertheless, it seems the decision is made for us. We don't want Yobst camping with us in front of our own castle like a band of gypsies. Hmm. I'm afraid you're right, Hanush. All right. We'll let the men rest a while and then attack. Come to me when everything is ready. Personally, I would want away from this Yobst. Family values, okay. An oath is an oath. I mean, I don't think they're in horrible shape here. We're in really good shape. The only thing that's not in good shape is one of our clothing, which I'm not too worried about. Let's just get it over with. I mean, there's no way... Where even is he? God bless it. I feel like there's not really much of a chance that, uh... I mean, the option to lose Radzig and Stephanie is a great risk, but... Especially with there's no heir to Dan uh, Divish. 
I mean, Henry could take, I mean, take over Razzik stuff. He won't have a clue what to do, but it's still an option. But then you have Talonberg that wouldn't have a lord. If Hodge does, they still have Capon. So it's like... Do it or do it anyway. Do I have any points I need to use? No. Dude, just let's do it. I'm glad you came. At your service, sir. I'm about to give the order to bombard Talmberg. And since it's mainly thanks to you that we still have a trebuchet, I think you should have the honor of the first shot. Ooh! I'd be delighted. To smash my castle? I can't say I share your... Oh, opinion. come on! Sorry, sir. I didn't mean it like that. There's nothing to it. The men will load the trebuchet. All you have to do is pull the lever. Well, I suppose I could manage that. Then we'll bombard Talmberg for several days. And Sir Robard will explain what comes next. Take care. Really? So I came all the way this way to go all the way back to where I just came from. Game watching. Guys, next time on Kingdom Come Deliverance, we will lay siege to Talberg. And see if we can end this once and for all. Ah, Hanish. I'll see you then.